Part 5, Using the Tao to Refrain from Action This group of twelve passages investigates Wu Wei, or non-doing. Wu Wei is not doing anything until it is time to act, and only then in a restrained way that is in harmony with the natural flow. Here it refers to a state of mind in which actions are effortlessly in alignment with the flow of life. Non-action confers intuitive insights and awareness beyond what can be achieved with taking action, since knowledge that comes through action is obscured by situation-specific reactions. Non-action is therefore another way of saying go with the flow. Do not resist or become impatient with the larger forces in the world, after all we humans are small in relation to the world. Events are governed by nature, and it is best to allow those events to play out in their own way. Ill-considered action creates its own problems. Non-action helps us towards our goals through the cultivation of patience and adopting a long-term view. Humanistic psychology says that it is within our reach to create the life we want for ourselves. To become self-actualized. As we think and believe, so we create our world. This is indeed true, but only up to a point. We can transform our lives in goal-fulfilling ways, but the transformation is relatively slow, its progress measured in months and years. Wu Wei calls for patience. Lots of patience. Perhaps this is the truth behind the old saying that patience is not just a virtue, but the foundation of all virtues. Passage, Selflessness, 7. The Tao is immortal and eternal. Immortal because it was never born, and so can never die. The Tao is the creative force, behind the birth of all things. The wise person practices strategic inaction, then the transition from inaction to action, seems natural and right. Avoid resistance in the beginning. Place yourself outside and below, social forces then bring you to the middle. Commentary, periods of action are followed by an action. To create a situation in which action is required, the wise begins with an action to prepare the way. The transition from inaction to action then seems natural, effortless, and it is unlikely to be opposed. By placing themselves last and outside, the wise creates a situation where natural social forces compel them forward towards the center. Passage, Harmony, 29 The subtle complexity of the universe is far beyond human comprehension. It is a perfect expression of the Tao. The wise appreciate its perfection. It is marvelous, do not tamper with it. Meddling is bound to fail. Like a clumsy surgeon. Harmony with the Tao. Means avoidance of extremes. Stay moderate. It will never fail. Commentary, there is an inner consistency in nature. Cells replicate, crystals grow, flowers bloom, civilizations rise and fall, all according to an inherent pattern within. Do not tamper with natural processes. It rarely succeeds. In social systems, the wise position themselves in harmony with the evolutionary forces. Their subtle influence is exerted through their focused awareness. Thus they refrain from taking action when it would adversely affect the natural evolutionary flow. Passage, avoid becoming too specialized, 32. The Tao is beyond rationality. Thus it is impossible to define. We only know it by its effects. The cause remains a mystery. Harnessing the Tao is power. That creates harmony in the ruler's domain. With all things becoming possible. But then curiosity leads to over-analysis. We cannot stop at analyzing one thing. We must analyze further and more. One thing becomes two things. Two things become four. Four become eight. Eight becomes sixteen. Exponential growth. We do not know where to stop. Only the Tao knows. And the many will one day return to one. Commentary. There should be limits to specialization. Proliferation can continue ad infinitum. People lose sight of the big picture, becoming absorbed in the detail. Passage. Subtle influence. 43. Like water over river stones. That which is soft. Wears down the hard. The softest thing. Overcomes the hardest. That which is hard. Is becoming soft. And the soft becoming hard. With strategic non-action. 
all things are done. Patience is not just a virtue. It is the main virtue. Commentary Lao Tzu observed that many of the troubles of the world are reactions to earlier provocations. What you resist persists. Refrain from action, the trouble is over. Therefore use subtle influence to solve problems with minimal action. Passage, Strategic Non-Action, 48. Wisdom is not achieved through adding more knowledge, rather by taking away knowledge, to reveal the bare essentials. Every day, unlearn something, and return to simplicity. Do less to achieve more, if you do nothing, nothing is left undone. This is strategic non-action. Commentary, cast off socially acquired knowledge to reveal one's essential self. Accept the reality of the moment without resistance. Gain insight through non-interference. Knowledge gained from action is situation-specific. Non-interference harmonizes inner awareness with the macrocosm. You will then know where to position yourself for success. Passage, Truth in Non-Action, 55. The Tao is like a newborn child. The world sees only goodness. Adversaries and predators see no threat. So there is no attack. Your body remains flexible. The strength of youth abides. The Tao confers great energy. You do much without becoming tired. The harmony of the Tao confers longevity. Commentary, rid yourself of fixed ideas. Be in the now. Notice moment by moment how the world is evolving. Fixed ideas obscure such perceptions. Pure knowledge is gained when the world is not reacting to you. Passage, being non-confrontational, 63. Strategic non-action. Is the refuge of the wise. Results come without doing. When you allow events. To unfold without interference. It might not be what you imagined. But it will be in harmony with the Tao. Therefore reduce what is full. Augment what is empty. Bring it to the middle. Where the Tao is strongest. Then the difficult thing becomes easy. The complicated becomes simple. It is from this place of moderation. That all things come. Find this place and dwell there. Commentary, being like a baby is the essence of the Tao. They are in touch with their primal nature that exists before society paves over it with layers of conditioning. Because the young are clear embodiments of the Tao, the world does not harm them. Neither do the young struggle for wealth and power. Passage, a river flowing around boulders, 64. The oak seedling is uprooted with finger and thumb. A hundred years later, a mighty tree, how difficult then? But the hard, unyielding thing is prone to breaking. Because it does not bend. Like the seedling, the beginning is easily influenced. They are small and simple and flexible. The winter storm brings down the ancient oak. Its strength becomes its weakness, because it does not bend. Be like the seedling, not the old tree. That is the way of the Tao. To live long, remain flexible. Resist not the flow of life. Bring your mind to the beginning. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Commentary, apply your efforts to the weakest area. When the weakness absorbs the effort, the weakness moves to another location. Act like a river finding its way through a valley of stones. When the water encounters a stone, it flows around it and continues on unhindered. Passage, The Virtue of Restraint, 68. A good soldier fights only when necessary. When he does fight, he is cool, not angry. As the victor, he does not gloat. As the vanquished, he is not vengeful. This soldier has cultivated the virtue of restraint. Since ancient times, this is unity with heaven and harmony with the Tao. Commentary, Wu Wei can be restrained under provocation. Acting rashly in heated situations puts you into the same class as the provocateur, even though you might think you were justified in your actions. It takes two to make a fight. The wise see no point in doing battle except as last resort. Passage, not initiating, 69. Restraint in battle is not making the first move. Wait for the opponent to act. 
inaction might yet avoid the fight. Retreat rather than advance might also work. The opponent sees strength and decides not to fight. The good soldier never underestimates his opponent. When fighting is unavoidable. Fight as the righteous underdog. Using minimum force. Commentary, Wu Wei can be about not making the first move. By waiting you force the other to make the first move. They might decide on a strategic withdrawal, and that will conclude the matter. When forced to fight, be the ferocious underdog who seeks only an equitable outcome, not winner takes all. Passage, Recognizing the Beginning, 74. When a person is afraid to die, they will obey the law. When to break it means death. But ruling with fear is self-defeating before long. Better to rule with subtle influence. Make people want to do what you want them to do. That is true leadership. Commentary, coercing people into obedience with threats works for a short time, but not for long. It is not a sustainable practice. Much better to get people to want to do what it is you want them to do. Then they think it was their idea. The best time to influence events is at the beginning, before they acquire momentum. Passage, The Doomed Leader, 75. The tyrannical leader oppresses people with crippling taxes and death for disagreement. The children go to bed hungry, so the leader might live in luxury. Abused people lose interest in living. Death seems preferable to life. The wise leader uses subtle influence to guide people in the direction that is best for them to go. When they get there, they barely know of the wise ruler's influence. They think they did it themselves. Commentary, oppressive regimes inevitably fail in time. When more and more force is needed to ensure compliance, people lose interest in living. Death is preferable to life for the miserable. Such regimes are doomed from the beginning. There can be only one outcome. Better to create the right conditions at the beginning and using subtle influence, guide people in the direction you want them to go which is also the direction that is best for them.